Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got interesting looks at the corona and the solar wind. We're seeing a change in Earth's clouds that was only expected by catastrophists, and we'll hit the strange radio waves coming up from Antarctica. We'll also announce the big October events at the ranch, and we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star here, crackling, small flares, filaments beginning to snap. While the last 24 hours still produced nothing in terms of Earth-directed eruptions, the sunspots have become even more complex, and the filaments behind them are getting antsy as well. Major ropes of plasma trailing behind major magnetic complexity in the sunspot umbras. Watch level is fairly high today. Up next, we're going to Proba 3, which created an artificial eclipse so it could scope the corona. It used a few different wavelengths to see the various items, but my favorite one has to be the one that actually shows the individual solar wind streams screaming away from the corona. That is gorgeous. Look at the detail. Anyway, first of our top science stories hits the clouds. They have been tightening up their presentation zones, which means less spread and overall coverage, but thicker clouds where it is covering. That tightening up is expected as electrodynamics take over from temperature and pressure control, 100% expected as an effect of the magnetic pole shift. Now, folks, this one is interesting. I've been diving into it for two days already, and there is really not even the first shred of a clue the scientists have about where these radio waves are coming from, other than beneath the ice. This is supposed to be impossible, definitely not expected. My current dive into the radio signal involves how magnetic fields accelerate electrons to produce radio waves, along with the ice lattice structure in play. But for now, this is a true mystery, folks. The latest issue of our e-magazine comes out today. When you sign up at the link below, you get instant access to everything, best way to support us and stay up to speed. Blacksmithing class at Observer Ranch this weekend, prepper event the next weekend. We've got pole shift conferences and special events like Observer Speed Dating, the two-day event, time to find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Tons of events the rest of the year, but I want to plug October for just a moment. October 10th, 11th, and 12th is the Colorado Prepper Expo. That's at copreparexpo.com. Then, the 17th through the 19th is The Experience, a full psychological, spiritual, and physical reset. If you have your preps, your location, now it's time to focus on you. Only 20 spots available. Link is below. And we'll find all the events and register to book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. That is the place to go. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here. But right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>